a voltaic cell consists of a gold to gold plus three electrode and a copper to copper plus two electrode and I got the EOTS form. We want to calculate the gold concentration if the copper concentration is 1.2 molar and the E of the cell is 1.3 volts. So we're going to be using our full NERST equation. I'm writing this out to actually keep track of the things we need to look up for this one. All right. We're going to need to figure out our E of our cell and the balanced equation so we can get our Q. So I'm looking here, and my smaller values, well, I'm going to turn into my anode. So my E of the E ought of the cell is going to be that 1.50, and then we'll add the inverse sign, so 0.34. So 1.5 minus 0.34 gives me 1.16 volts and I'm going to write this next part out so what I'm going to write out is the reduction equations so I have my ionized gold plus three electrons to give me that gold and then the ionized copper and two electrons to give us copper and we decide to make the copper our anode. So our overall equation is going to have the copper solid and the gold 3 plus ions turning into copper ions and gold solid. And I skipped a step. To get these, these electrons to balance out, I need to multiply that by 2 and this by 3. So I need to have three coppers on both sides and two golds. And I caught that because my charges didn't work out. All right, so I have my balance equation, so I can get my Q. My Q will be the copper ions cubed over the gold ions squared. I have my E ont. And my N will be, got the two electrons and three electrons, so six. So I can start putting things together. I have the 1.13 volts for my E of the cell, 1.16 volts for the E ot, minus the R. And I'm not going to write it out because I'm going to run out of space otherwise, but it's that 8.314. The temperature will be 298 Kelvin. The N is going to be six moles of electrons. And I'm just going to write Faraday, F for Faraday. And then my Q, oh man, I made this painful because we're solving for something on the bottom of that fraction that's squared. And that's going to be a fun one. So starting with everything on the left, 1.13. And I'll subtract the 1.16. And I'm going to get rid of that negative. So I'll multiply by negative 6 and by Faraday's constant, 96,485. Then I'm going to divide by my R, 8.314, and by the 298. That value there should be equal to the natural log of the 1.2 divide by the gold. So I'm going to get the inverse natural log of this. All right. And now I will divide by 1.20 cubed. That should be equal to 1 over the gold squared, so I'm going to inverse this, which should be equal to the gold squared, and then I'll get the square root of that. So my gold concentration should be, I should be able to do three significant figures. Should I be able to? 
No, because when I did that subtraction, that would have just been... No, that doesn't work that way. We're good there. Yeah, I should be able to do three significant figures, so... Point zero three nine five molar. 